Okay, up next in the Lightning Talk session is Brian Galligan, Manager of Security and Operations at Brookfield Properties. Brian, great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, John. So unified visibility across extended asset surface area is key these days. You can't secure what you can't see. So tell me more about how you were able to centralize your view of network assets with Armis and what impact that had on your business. Yeah, that's that's been a really key component of ours where we, we've we uh, actually owned multiple companies uh, within and are always acquiring companies um, at, from time to time. So um, it, it's always a question, what is actually out there um, and what do we need to be worried about? So from an, an inventory perspective, uh, it's definitely something that we've been looking into. Armis was a, a great partner in being able to get us the visibility into a lot of the IoT that we have out in the environment. Um, and then also trying to find what we have and what's actually installed on those devices, what's running, who's talking to who. Um, so that's definitely been a key component uh, with our partnership with Armis. You know, we interviewed a lot of practitioners and companies and one of the things we found is vulnerability management programs, there's a lot of gaps. You know, vulnerability management comes across, most sometimes just IT devices, but not all assets. How has Armis vulnerability management made things better for your business and what can you see now that you couldn't see before? Yeah, again, because we we own multiple companies and they actually use different tools for vulnerability management, it's been a challenge to be able to cap, um, compare apples to apples um, on when we have vulnerability, when we have risk out there, how do you put a single number to it? How do you prioritize um, different initiatives across those sectors? And being able to use Armis and have that one score, have that one visibility, and also that one platform that you can query across all of those different companies has been huge because we just haven't had the ability to say, are we vulnerable to X, Y, and Z across the board um, uh, in, in these different companies. You know, it's interesting when you have a lot of different assets and companies, as you mentioned, um, it kind of increases the complexity. And yeah, we love the enterprise. You solve complexity by more complexity, but that's not the playbook anymore. We want simplicity. We want to have a better solution. So when you take into account the criticality of these businesses you're integrating in in real time, and the assets within those business operations, you got to keep focused on the right solutions. What has Armis done for you that's been correct and right for you guys? Yeah, so being able to, to see the different, uh, like be able to actually drill down into the nitty gritty on what, what devices are connecting to, to what, um, being able to enforce policies that way, I think has been a huge win that we've been able to see from Armis. Um, it's one of those things where we were able to see north-south traffic, um, no problem with our, our typical SIM tools, firewall tools, different logging sources, but we haven't been able to see anything east-west and that's where we're going to be most vulnerable. That's where we've been um, actually uh, found, uh, we, we found some gaps in our coverage from a pen test perspective where we've found that it, we're, we don't have that visibility. Armis has allowed us to get into that communication to better fine tune the rules that we have across devices, across um, across sectors, across you know the data center to properties, properties to the data center, and then also to the cloud. Yeah, visibility into the assets is huge. Um, but as you, you're in operations, you got to operationalize these tools. I mean, some people sound like they've got a great sales pitch and all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I got to reconfigure my entire operations. At the end of the day, you want to have an easy to use, but effective capability so you're not taxed either personnel or operations. How easy has it been with Armist to implement uh, from an ease of use, simplicity, plug and play? In other words, how quickly did you get to the time to value? You can share your thoughts. This, this honestly is the biggest value that we've seen in Armis. I think a, a big kudos goes to the professional services group um, for getting us stood up, being able to explain the tool, be able to dig into it, and then get us to that time to value. Um, honestly, we've only scratched the surface on what Armis can give us, which is great because they've given us so much already. So definitely taking, taking that model of let's crawl, walk, run with what we're able to do, but the professional services team has given us so much uh, assistance in getting from one collector to now many collectors. And we're, we're in that deployment phase where um, 
we're able to gather more data and, and find those anomalies that are out there. Um, I, again, big props to the, the uh, professional services team. Yeah, you know, one of the, we had an old expression when you know when the whole democratization happened on the web. Here comes all the people, you know, social media and whatnot. Now with I, IoT, here comes all the devices. Here comes all the yeah. things. More things are being attached to the network. So Armus has this global asset knowledge base that crowdsources the asset intelligence. How has that been a game changer for you? And were you shocked when you discovered how many assets they were able to discover and what impact did that have for you? We, we have a large Wi-Fi footprint for guests, vendors, uh, contractors that are working on site, along with our corporate side, which, which has a lot of devices on it as well. And being able to see what devices are using what services on there and then be able to fingerprint them easily has been huge. I would say one, one of the best stories that I can tell is actually with a, a pen test that we ran recently, we were able to, to determine what the pen test device was um, and, and how it was acting anomalous and then fingerprint that device within five minutes opposed to getting on the phone with probably four or five different groups to figure out what is this device? It's not one of our normal devices. It's not one of our uh, normal builds or anything. We were able to find that device within probably three to five minutes with, with Armis and, and the fingerprinting capability. Yeah, nothing, nothing's going to get by you with these port scans or any kind of <laughs> activity, so to speak, jumping on the Wi-Fi, great stuff. Anything else you'd like to share about Armis while I got you here? Yeah, I, I would say that uh, something recently we actually have an open position on our team currently, and one of the one of the most exciting things is being able to share our journey that we've had with Armis over the last year, year and a half, and their eyes light up when they hear the capabilities of what Armis can do, what Armis can offer. And you see a little bit of jealousy of you know, hey, I really wish my current organization had that, and it's it's one of those selling tools that you're able to give. Um, to security engineers, security analysts saying, here's what you're going to have on the team to be able to do your job right. So that you don't have to worry about necessarily the, the normal mundane things. You get to actually go do the cool hunting stuff, which Armist allows you to do. Well, Brian, thanks for the time here on this lightning talk. Appreciate your insight. 